Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2020 Fi Golf Open. My name is Baxter Colburn. Four golfers will compete today for the opportunity to be crowned the Fi Golf Open champion as part of the Fi Golf Championship Tour. It's going to be one filled with laughs, one filled with excitement, and for some golfers, I'm sure there's always that slight bit of disappointment that creeps in from time to time. The Fi Golf Tour will be playing today at Pebble 72, a historic course inside the Fi Golf app, and we are excited to be part of this Fi Golf Championship Tour in the what has been very unique 2020 sports world. Uh, let's meet the golfers. First up, Alex Claflin. He is by far one of the youngest players to ever be in the tour. You have head coach Chad Johnson, a soccer player by trade, but a golfer on the weekend. Eric Joes. Well, he's not helping save people as a police officer. He's helped keeping the golf courses safe from his balls going straight. And Chad Reinhardt. Uh, don't count Chad out. Chad is also one of those players that is very good at keeping the golf ball where it needs to be. We head to the first hole right away with Chad Johnson teeing off off the first hole. Par four. Shot goes to the right. Not too bad in the rough. Alex Claflin. Par four, 320 Ready. meters. Have to drive this one to the left if you can. This one's going to cut right. Stay off the path, stay off the path, and it does. Not too bad of an opening hit from him as well. He seems okay with it. Joe's pulls his shot to the right. This one's trailing. Oh no, this might be going out of bounds. Off the tree stump. Oh my goodness, and he's hit, hit out of bounds. Unbelievable. That'll definitely be a, a key early penalty for him. Great opening drive from Reinhardt as he drives this one down the middle. Nice That's shot. a great shot from him. We jump now to the third shot for Chad Johnson. Good shot from him. Dropped it just in the, in the apron, but not too bad. Joe's, another tee shot, getting it off. This one should stay fair now, as long as it stays off the path. No! Oh, it rolls one more time for him again. And he's Ready. double parred, and he's done for the first hole. A big snowman to start off. Here comes Chad Reinhardt. A great shot. Good approach. Is it going to run on the, on the green a little nice bit? It will. Shot. Now we go to the fourth shot for par. Reinhardt pushes it just nice left. He shot. seems to be okay with that. He'll take an opening bogey. Here comes Chad Johnson. Nice little chip to the right side. Will it get inside the circle? Nice no. Shot. He almost had a chance there for a par. And now he will putt for bogey. Nice shot. And he's got it in. Well, the first hole. And that's what we're looking at as far as your current scores. Johnson and Reinhardt both plus one. Claflin right behind with plus two. And Eric Joes with plus four. We head off to hole number two as part of the Fi Golf Championship Tour. As we start with Reinhardt. A huge drive. Oh my goodness. What a shot from Chad Reinhardt to get moving. Move over. That could have been a home run in the baseball world. 261 meters. What a smash. Joe's a little bit more reserved this time on his first nice shot off the tee box. Jump to Claflin's second shot on his approach. Pulling it to the right side of the green. Can he get a good bounce or a nice little run into the green? He does. Great shot from him. He seems happy with that. Jump to Joe's fourth or fifth shot rather. Drops a decent way, but ooh, and the green unforgiving as it nice rolls him back to almost 13 meters from the hole. Third shot to Chad Johnson. Pushes it well wide right. Where's that going to land? Oh, on nice the green. Shot. That's a makeable putt for sure. Ready. He's seven and a half meters away. Got a ride hard now for his fourth nice shot. shot for par. And he drains it. We've played two holes. This is what we're looking at so far. Reinhard, a one-shot lead over Johnson. And you've got Alex Claflin just three shots out of the first place. And unfortunately, Eric Joes is having a hard time through the first two holes. Ready. He's plus eight. We head to the third hole. Reinhardt to tee off, getting us started on a par five. This is going to really test the range, but Reinhardt with an absolute smash of an opening drive. Nice shot. 248 yards, or meters on that opening shot. And Chad Johnson, he is one of those golfers that Ready. he's not going to hit at 220 or 250 every time, but he is a steady swing, and he usually is in play every time as well, so... He's nice one of those shot. guys that will probably par or bogey most holes just Ready. based on the power that he's got. 
Claflin. He's the young guy on tour right now. We're just trying to check him out, see what he's capable of doing. He does more of a line drive slice to the right here. Nice oh, shot. That's going to set him up for a decent approach. Hit Ready. Hit that with a wedge. 81 meters away. Jump to Joe's. His fourth shot. Plus eight. Not the day that he's really wanted to start off so far. And it's going to go from bad to worse as he finds himself at the beach as opposed to on the fairway. Ready. Jumping over to Reinhardt, fourth shot here. Chance for a birdie attempt. This would be the first birdie of the day if Reinhardt can put it in. Nice shot. It looks good. Will it drop? Yes, it does. A birdie for Chad Reinhardt. That's massive. Well, that birdie helps Reinhardt move after three holes to even on the day. Chad Johnson plus three. Claflin at plus four. That battle for second place is really interesting between Alex Claflin and Chad Johnson. Hole number four, Claflin Ready. getting us started here with a great par three. He pushes his par three shot well to the right side. Let's stay off the path. Get out of there. Stay in play in the rough. Not what you wanted there for a par three. Chad Johnson, I feel like he's aiming Ready. more to the left side now. Plays it with the slice back to the right. Will he get on the green for a good putt? He will. Good bounce from him. Nice shot, buddy. Joe's is your second attempt after a decent opening shot. So you're gonna play it close enough to get a tee and to get a putt opportunity. Once again, the green kind of working nice against shot. him as he rolls back on it. Ready. Uh, did a great job of putting his opening swing on the green, and his second shot goes nice just shot. to the left of the hole, but he'll concede par. Still not a bad move from him. He goes Claflin on his second shot. Where's that one gonna hit? Oh, come on back. Come on back, come on back, yes! Well done for Claflin on a great rollback. He gets a par as well, and he makes it interesting as Chad Johnson goes bogey. So Chad, so Chad Reinhardt, and Alex Claflin, one and two with Johnson tied at second as well. Eric Joes over in that fourth place spot as well. Plenty of time still. We jump ahead to the fourth hole. Ready. We've got Reinhardt's second shot where we join in for play here. Good high flying shot. This might have a chance to hit the green. Go on, take that bounce. Oh my goodness. What a good shot from him. He nice has been shot. on fire to get this tournament underway. Here comes Joe's trying to stay safe if he can and in play. That ball's running almost as <laughs> I see him put the hand up there saying, hey now, calm down. Chad Johnson taking his second shot now, plus five on the day so far. Means a good hole Ready. here if he can to make that second place conversation possible again. Good swing off to the right side. Now, Chad Johnson did mention before the tour that he was playing with a bit nice of a sore shot. back. So we'll be curious to see how that continues to affect his play as we move forward. Join Joe's, trying to get up on to the green. Shoots just a smidge clear. Comes Claflin Ready. now, his, fourth, his third shot of the hole. Oh, good high flyer. This one's got a good chance. Oh, that'll roll perfectly for him. Look nice at that. Shot. Well done, sir. That sits down for a great Ready. par. Here comes Reinhardt. Oh, he's lipped it! Nice oh shot. my goodness. He's not happy about that. He'll take the bogey. Johnson Ready. for his fifth shot, going for bogey as well. This is a big one for him, and he makes nice it. Shot. So the, sh the standing shifting around just a little bit. As you see, Claflin now only two shots out of first place. Johnson, he finishes with a 12 on that hole. That pushes him to 12 over. Not at all what he needed and he is pretty much out of the second place conversation right now. Ready. Hole number five, tee shot for Claflin. Let's see what he's got. A hard rip to the left side on this par three. It likes to bend to the right side, but Claflin reads it really well. Drops that one just Ready. outside of the green area. Reinhardt has had no problem swinging today, and he just crushes this one. That's gonna hit really close to the pin. Is that gonna get inside the circle? No, it rolls just wide. <laughs> Oh nice my goodness. He tries Ready. Claflin now on his third shot, trying to go for par, and he drops it in like a nice true shot. master. He seems all right with that. Very stoic of him, but he seems good. Chad Johnson, his third shot, and he apparently was trying to get all the way over to the sandbar. That was a cracker of a shot, and that was not at all where that ball needed to go. Joe's trying to make up for some lost time. He's at plus 16 for the day right now, I think, at this point. With it being the fifth hole, I think he's just kind of happy to be here at this point, and he's going to try to 
probably stay under 20 if you can. I think uh, overall, though, not too bad of an effort from him. He's just trying to get out here and get a feel for the game, get a feel for the tour. His first shot not going where he wants it to be. Reminder, we are this tour, Ready. this opening day, is presented by Public House Media. You can find out more about them at publichousemedia.org. Nice Double bogey for Joe's as we finish hole number six. There's your current leaderboard, Reinhard with a two-shot lead over Claflin at plus one. Johnson and Joe's a lot closer than I'm sure Johnson would prefer for that third-place spot. Five Golf Championship Tour presented by Public House Media. We move on to the next hole. Now, this one is going to cause some issues with a huge Ready. body of water and a tree line. It's a par five. We'll see how the golfers attack this one. Claflin going for more of like a home run style swing. This one, I don't think that's going to make it. And it won't. That's an out-of-bounds penalty for Ready. Alex. Let's see if Reinhardt's got enough in the tank to crack it over. It's a long shot. Don't let it fool you. 228 meters. And he goes left. And he completely overshoots the entire hole. And he will also receive an out-of-bounds penalty. Oh my goodness. Eric Joes, he has struggled this entire time. This is now his ninth shot we'll be joining in on here. Does this one finally have enough to get across and over? It does not. And he's going to double par out with a 10 on the hole. Chad Johnson, the only one to successfully clear the trees. This is Ready. now uh, his fourth shot, as we see here for Reinhardt, as he redoes his shot. Let's see where we go on this one. That's a good approach. That might, that might run. Come on now. Get into the green. Get onto the green. Good, 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 good. Sets him up for a good opportunity Ready. for a par putt. And stay at plus one. Nice shot. And he drops it just short of the circle. So he will most likely go home with a bogey on this one just Ready. to knock it in. Still holding on to his lead. Nice shot. Drops that one in for a bogey. A little bit of a disappointment there from him. Ready. Chad Johnson putting for birdie on this one, though. He's had a great hole. Let's see what he's got under his belt. Ooh, nice that one's going to play nicely. The birdie on the par five where everyone else has struggled. Chad Johnson gets a nice birdie there to help kind of boost the confidence. As you see how we are through hole number seven. Two holes remaining on the Phi Golf Open as a part of the Phi Golf Championship Tour. Thank you for joining us, Ready. wherever you might be. Hole number eight. We get ready to see what Reinhardt has to do coming off the tee shot at par four. Bending to the right. And Reinhardt goes nice to shot. more of a left side. Lots of hills on this one. Let's see how Claflin ready. decides to attack it. Just a little bit of wind pushing from right to left. Claflin gets a great shot and goes at the wind. Will it get on to the fairway? That one's going to stay in the rough and might cause for some necessary chip action Ready. getting out of that area. We join Reinhardt in his second shot now. Continuing to move his way through this par four. He's going to try to attack through the trees. How's that one going to bounce for him? Cameron's lost it there for a second, and he's going to go out of bounds. Oof, that is a costly penalty. See how he does on this makeup shot. Now this one's a lot better. Certainly something he wished he had done the first time around. Nice That's better. Put him about 61 meters out from the hole. Not Ready. bad at all. Claflin here on his third shot as these two continue to exchange duels and even some looks as well as a battle for first and second place. Seems to be pretty much wrapped up from Reinhardt's perspective. Nice but, Ready. Uh, you certainly want to think that there is maybe something a little bit left in the tank from Claflin depending on how he finishes his hole and with this one being Reinhardt's in a fifth nice shot. shot. Let's see where this one drops. Is it going to come back a little bit? No, Ready. It's stuck right there where it hit. There's a par four, so Reinhardt nice putting shot. for double bogey, and he can't even get it in the... Oh, my goodness. Well, that certainly changes things as we head into the final hole. Claflin would have to make up three shots on this par four, which, truthfully, is not probably going to happen, but you look at it even from the perspective, as long as Reinhardt... Uh, can just get on the green and even par or bogey this hole. He'll be set up good. Eric Joes leading us off to try to finish off on a happy note. Although he has not had the best day over these nine holes, he has certainly kept things lively nice and shot. fun, as he typically does. Claflin, third shot, looking to get up onto the green to Ready. par and 
Put some pressure on Reinhardt. This one goes far to the right side. Is that one going to give him a chance to putt? It will stay on the green and it will roll back a little bit, but you're looking at about a 16 meter nice putt shot. from Claflin, who really needed to put that ball a lot closer. Let's see what he does here. Chance for a par. Ready. 16 meters away. Good power. Will it be enough to get in the circle? It is. Nice so that's going to drop for a bogey. The question is, where does Reinhardt sit? Reinhardt, this is his third shot as he's on the green. He has a chance to par out, and at this point, as long as he just can put the ball in in the next even five strokes, he will be the Ready. champion of the Fly Golf Open. Oh, he'll get it into the concede circle, nice and he shot. will take it. He'll take par, and that will clinch the championship for Ready. him. As we look to see where Johnson and Joes wrap things up on this final hole. Johnson, kind of the story of his day, unfortunately. Generally the right area, but not where he wants it. Joes wrapping up Ready. his seventh shot. Bad. Bad read from him. We'll try one more time. He's really struggled, unfortunately, to make good contact with that club today. Ready. So we hope that uh, he'll reassess and reevaluate. Nice Drops shot. it in, triple bogey to finish off for him. Johnson looking for a double bogey. He has a nice putt nice to end shot. the day. And that's going to be it. That's how the standings end for the Fly Golf Championship Tour. Chad Reinhardt wins it at plus five. A four-stroke win over Alex Claflin. And Chad Johnson and Eric Joes. What a tremendous tournament with a lot of excitement here in the Fly Golf Championship Tour. Time now to hear from all four of the golfers. Um, last couple holes I felt a little more dialed in. Um, definitely struggled with kind of the environment, I guess. Just getting that swing down. I felt like I had a hitch um, on my follow through every time. So just trying to dial that in and uh, just getting the tempo and everything down. Um, that was definitely my struggle there. Um, but yeah, the last few holes, I really felt like I dialed it in um, and finally started coming around. Uh, something I'll take, um, just kind of getting that rhythm down with the club, because um, it's definitely a lot different dynamic than a regular golf club. So just getting that rhythm down and timing on the, on the swing and getting used to that, I think is, I'll take that into my next game and work on that a little more. Kind of just a uh, driving range, got to, got to <laughs> figure out the swing. I don't know. I, uh kind of figured out how to uh stop from slicing there about um after the first couple holes I kind of figured it out a little bit more and I think that uh kept me on the fairway a little bit more and was able to get some better shots I guess or better chances at shots um put a little more into the swings I was I was short arming it I think a little bit on <laughs> on those swings and uh it kind of costed me with a few out of bounds penalties so I think uh, played to my slice as much as I possibly could. Learned early that uh, this course played to the slice if you could uh, aim left. And so I picked up on that right away. Uh, the putting uh, struggled early on, but then it caught on uh, as, uh, as we got later through the round. And uh, the short game was good. I will admit I was happy with my short game. Yeah, like you go through that and mentally just stay in tuned in the game and you just fight your way through it. So it was a bad hole, and it uh, looks like it ended up costing me second place overall. I don't know what that'll be on the money list, but we'll see. <laughs> but uh, uh, overall, uh, one bad hole I can deal with. Well, if you're always in the first round, it's good to play Eric right away. So that's one thing we've learned. Um, other things that we've learned is basically practice makes perfect. So, you know, you spend time and uh, this, this is absolutely incredible to, uh, to have this opportunity on a, on a rainy night to go out here and play a game that's so realistic. So it was excellent. A big key for such a great victory today. Sure, I think I just had a, a bunch of great competitors that I was uh, playing with today. Uh, their drive made me want to play harder and just, you know, stay, stay close and hopefully not get too far behind. I had a couple great holes starting out. I think I parred the first one. And uh, that just gave me a great confidence booster to continue on and, and maintain that, that conservative uh, mindset throughout. And, and I think that's what really got me the win today. You know, I, I typically slice, and I was out on the range prior to starting, and, and just getting a couple of those uh, slices out of the way, you know, being mindful of what I was actually doing in my swing uh, to kind of bring it straight, a little more straight than, than usual, uh, helped me, you know, get the distance I needed to be on the green to have those good putts. 
And once I was on the green, I, like I said, I was just trying to be conservative and, and get it close to the hole where I, you know, I had those um, easy tap-ins uh, to secure the, the low putt scores. It, it did seem that way. Um, I, again, I chalk it up to having a bunch of great guys to play with, having the opportunity to be out here on, on like Chad said, the, uh, the rainy day, uh, typically be at home hanging out with the family, but I was, I'm here with some friends uh, doing what I love, playing golf, and uh, somehow today I took home the win, so thank you. Thank you again for joining us for this round of Phi Golf Championship Tour action. Once again, it is Chad Reinhardt going home with the trophy at plus five on the day as he defeats Alex Claflin by four strokes. From all of us here at the Phi Golf Championship Tour, I'm Baxter Colburn saying we'll see you next time. Congratulations once again to Chad Reinhardt, your 2020 Phi Golf Open champion. The Phi Golf Championship Tour is a production of Public House Media. Find out more information about PHM by going to publichousemedia.org.